Hi everyone, it's civil engineering tutorial. In my previous video, I have estimated the quantities of earthworks in excavation, PCC in foundation and brick machinery in foundation and plinth. Today, I'll show you brick machinery in superstructure and direction of door openings, window openings and lintel. So, let's get started. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all the videos from civil engineering tutorials. Also like this video in case you find it helpful. So before you start this video, you must go through my previous estimate video which link is provided in the description box. So this is the single room estimate. So this is the second part. So here. Room size is 5 meter into 4 meter, 5 meter is horizontal line and 4 meter is vertical length. Okay, this is the section of footing, it's the brick machinery footing and PCC is 90 centimeter here. Okay, so 5 meter is horizontal length and 4 meter is vertical length, PCC is 90 centimeter. So in previous video, I have estimated up to plinth level. Okay, in this video, I'll Estimate the quantities from plinth level to plinth level to slab level. Okay, means brick machinery and superstructure. In this video, I'll estimate the quantity of plinth level to slab level, means brick, brick machinery and superstructure. And this is the lintel slab. This is 0 0.1 meter. I have not mentioned the dimension here. This thickness is 0 0.1 meter. Okay. 0 0.1 meter, this is the lintel slab thickness, I have not mentioned here. Now, plinth level to roof slab level, this is 3.2 meter. Okay, and this is the total length of center line, this is 19.2 meter, I have already calculated this in my previous video, you must go through that video first. This is the 19.2 meter, total length of center line. So this is artwork in excavation, item number 1, total quantity is 17.28 cubic meter, next pieces in foundation, total quantity is 5.18 cubic meter, now brick machinery in foundation in plinth, first footing 3.45 cubic meter, second footing 50 centimeter, 1.92 cubic meter, third footing 1.53 cubic meter and from GL to PL 40 centimeter, 4.6 cubic meter total is 11.5 cubic meter okay so now i'll estimate the item number four that is brick machinery in superstructure okay so brick machinery in superstructure so brick machinery in superstructure means above plinth level to roof slab level see from plinth level to roof slab level this distance is 3.2 meter okay plinth level to Slab level, this is 3.2 meter. Here too, this is width is 0 0.3 meter, 30 centimeter, 0 0.3 meter and height is 3.2 meter. Here too, here, plain level to slab level. This is width, same as wall thickness and height is 3.2 meter. Okay, width is same as wall width, 0 0.3 meter, height is 3.2 meter, plain level to slab level. So, Length is 19.2 meter. I have already calculated this total center line length. This is 19.2 meter. Width is 0 0.3 meter and height is 3.2 meter. Width is same as wall width. Height is 3.2 meter. See, this is 0 0.3 meter width, wall width and height is 3.2 meter. Plane level to slab level. So, number is 1. Length is 19.2 meter, width is 0 0.3 meter, height is 3.2 meter. So total quantity is 19.2 meter multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 3.2. Total quantity is 18.43 cubic meter. All dimensions are in meter. So total quantity is 18.43 cubic meter. So 18.43 cubic meter is the quantity of brick machinery in superstructure in which Doors, windows and lintel area also included. Okay. So to get the extra, exact or actual quantity 
of brick masonry in superstructure we need to deduct the extra quantity of door windows and lintel okay so to get the exact quantity of brick masonry in superstructure we need to deduct the extra quantity of door windows and lintel okay so 18.43 cubic meter is the quantity of brick masonry and superstructure in which door windows and lintel area also included we need to deduct the door quantity door area window area and lintel area okay so deduction of door so door size is 1.2 meter into 2.13 meter this is we have one door here door size is 1.2 meter into 2.13 meter 1.2 is length height is 2.13 we have three windows window size is 1.2 into 1.37 i have not mentioned that all dimensions here this is the these are the standard size so i have not mentioned here so door size is 1.2 meter into 2.13 meter and windows are 1.2 into 1.37 okay so first deduction for doors so length is 1.2 meter 1.2 into 2.1 width is same as zero uh, wall width is so 0.3 meter and height is 2.13 meter so number is 1 length is 1.2 meter width is 0.3 meter height is 2.13 meter so total quantity is 1.2 multiplied by 0.3 multiplied by 2.13 total quantity is 0.77 cubic meter okay this is door area quantity of door now deduction for window length is 1.2 meter and height is 1.37 1.2 into 1.37 width is same as wall 0.3 so number is three numbers of windows we have 1 2 3 three numbers of windows length is 1.2 width is 1.37 okay so length is 1.2 number is 3 three numbers of windows length is 1.2 which is same as wall 0.3 meter height is 1.37 so total quantity 1.2 multiplied by 0.3 multiplied by 1.37 so total quantity is 1.47 cubic meter okay so this is deduction for window 1.47 cubic meter now lintel lintel is length is same 19.2 meter total center line length okay 19.2 meter the total center line length width is 0.3 meters wall width same as height is 0.1 meter okay height is 0.1 meter this is the lintel slab lintel height is 0.1 meter here to here this is the lintel height <coughs> sorry this is 0.1 meter so 19.2 0.3 width height is 0.1 meter so number is 1 length 19.2 multiplied by 0.1 19.2 meter multiplied by 0.3 multiplied by 0.1 we are getting 0.58 cubic meter okay so we need to total total deduction 0.77 plus 1.47 plus 0.58 so this is the total deduction deduction for doors windows and lintel we have 2.82 cubic meter okay now we need to get the actual quantity of brick masonry and superstructure to get the actual quantity of brick masonry and superstructure we need to deduct this 2.82 cubic meter this is the extra quantity we need to deduct this from the 18.43 cubic meter okay this is the total quantity we need to deduct this extra quantity from the total quantity this is the total quantity 18.43 cubic meter to get the exact quantity we need to deduct this 2.82 cubic meter this is the extra quantity okay we need to deduct this extra quantity from the total quantity so exact or actual quantity of brick masonry superstructure we need to deduct 18.43 minus 2.82 so we are getting 15.61 cubic meter this is the actual quantity of brick masonry superstructure okay we need to deduct extra quantity from the total quantity this is the 
actual quantity of brick machinery. Deduct 2.82 from this total quantity. This is total quantity 8.43. We need to deduct this 2.82. Okay. 2.82 is the exact extra quantity. Okay. So this is 15.61 is the actual quantity of brick machinery in superstructure. Okay. So hope you understand this video properly. If you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.